Now, here I've drawn the diagram that we're given that P is 15 newtons and Q is X newtons and there's 150 degrees between these two forces. And we've got to find the resultant force which acts at 50 degrees to Q. So what I'm going to do is take out the 150 degrees, put in the resultant force R, okay we just call it R newtons, and remember it acts at 50 degrees to Q. That means that this angle in here is now 100 degrees and this external angle okay, is going to be 30 degrees to make it up to 180. Now I can represent these forces by a vector triangle and to do that I'll draw Q. Q is X newtons in that direction followed by the force P which is 15 newtons and that's going something like that in that direction so that is 15 newtons the force P and then we've got the resultant force R which is acting in that direction and I'll mark that in as R newtons we can put some angles in what have we got? We've got this one here 50 degrees that's going to be the same as that one 50 degrees we've got this angle of 30 degrees that's the angle that P makes with the horizontal so that will be this one in here that's 30 degrees and completing the triangle we've got 80 degrees in total here so that means that this angle up here should be 100 degrees. Now that we've got this triangle we can use the sine rule to get R. So by the sine rule, this is part A, okay, we can say that R over the sine of 30 equals 15 over the sine of 50. So writing that in here we have R then over the sine of 30 degrees is equal to 15 over the sine of 50 degrees. And all we need to do is just rearrange that by multiplying both sides by sine of 30 and you've got 15 sine 30 over sine of 50 and working that out on a calculator you get 9.7905 and so on which when rounded say to three significant figures is 9.79 newtons and don't forget to put 3SF there. Alright so that's part A. Now in part B we'll come down here we're asked to find X and again I can do this very easily by the sign rule simply X over the sine of 100 degrees equals 15 over the sine of 50 15 over the sine of 50 and rearranging this again gives x equals 15 sine 100 degrees all over the sine of 50 degrees and if you work this one out on a calculator and rounding to three significant figures. On a calculator you get 19.283 and so on so we just round that up and we get 19.3 newtons to 3SF. And that brings us to the end of question five.